I'm not a furry. So tell me how crazy is this? I have 15 years of experience, but much of it was at the same company, so I don't have a ton of experience in many different environments. That being said, a new job I recently took has some pretty strict coding standards. Uh, way more than I've dealt with in the past. A lot of it makes sense. Basic solid stuff like making your methods short and to the point dry, using line breaks uh, when appropriate, etc. Others, however, are quite odd in my experience. For instance, this is C-sharp. Okay, so obvious first mistake, C-sharp. Can we all agree? C-sharp. Clear mistake here. Just an absolute clear mistake. Uh, let's see. Okay. Not using statements allowed. No using statements allowed. Weird. Every single declaration or usage must be fully spelled out with the fully qualified name, for example. I'm not exactly sure how this ever happened to happen. Like, who at what point said, you know what? If you don't import standard in C++, we don't import anything in C Sharp. Like, that's the only thing that makes sense here. Uh, file folder structure and naming. Each .cs file should contain no more than one member. A class is broken into perhaps a dozen CS... I think I just had a Tomgasm. What the hell did I just read? You have a file for each method? <laughs> what? Property and constructor, including both the type of member, method and property and scope, public and static in the same of the file or same name of the file. Example would be the, the be this one: class one static property my prop. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Someone just said in here, someone just said, that doesn't look too bad. Who said, oh, there it was. Did you see that? This isn't that bad, actually. Man, that glass is half full, my friend. Your glass is so half full, I am, I'm shook. That you could actually go, eh, it's not that bad. I mean, have you seen Jay Diesel? You're right. You're right. This ain't no Jay Diesel. Okay? This ain't no Jay Diesel. But what the hell? What the hell are you trying to say here? Okay. No, no, I get it. I get it. I get it. I can't. No, no. No berating the employees. I get it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Dark Ninja has some valid points. We will start using partial class implementation file property constructor method as soon as possible. Third-party references. Okay, okay, I'm excited. I like third-party references. Do you guys like third-party references? Because, you know, sometimes I don't like to write every piece of code. Like, I don't want to write HTTP2 again. Uh, third-party references. They hate a NuGet. Uh, every project has a underscore dependencies folder, which contains a third-party reference to the project. Inter internally developed libraries. Again, NuGet is not allowed, not even for internal feeds. If a project needs to reference a dll output from another project, they just have to add that project to the solution and do a project reference. They have dozens and dozens of internally developed tooling like this, and an average solution file might have eight or nine projects referenced in it. I feel like I'm taking crazy pills, but I'm curious of others' opinions. <laughs> Mortimer? 452, you are not taking crazy pills, okay? You are a completely sane and normal individual, and this is perfectly and exactly how a good enterprise C-sharp Microsoft project should be oriented, okay? This is beautiful and precise C-sharp, okay? So don't let anybody try to fool you into believing that this is anything but the Lord's way of doing coding, okay? Okay? 
Well, let's read some comments. Uh, okay. Ten years of experience, all in C-sharp. What the actual f***? What are the justifications for this thing? I would say all your bo bo bullet points are highly unusual. That is such a nice term for what they are. What you're saying is un unusual. No, it's not. It's not. It's not Tom level genius. I'm just saying it's unusual. That's all I'm saying. Okay, unusual. Uh, I'm not. Let's see. I'm not justifying any of this insanity. But the but this rule, class is broken to perhaps doesn't <laughs> reminds me of a job I took back in 2010 where we used a centralized source control. No, no, no. Tell me this is not Jay Diesel. This cannot be a continuation of Jay Diesel. You cannot tell me this is Jay Diesel. You cannot say this. This is not true. Where we used a centralized source control product that was configured such that if you checked out, if you, if you checked out a file, it was locked and no one else. Oh, okay, not. <sighs> okay, it's not. It's not. It's not. Uh, it was locked and no one could edit that file until you checked it back in. Okay, that's Mercurial, isn't it? We didn't do anything crazy like this, but I can see scenarios where if you have exclusive locks on files for source control, where you'd want to decompose classes into the smallest parts, that, uh, so that if Susan is Susan, come on, is modifying a method of the class, I can still work on another method of the same class. Okay, I, I mean, this is oddly, this is oddly the most sound justification for the craziest programming principle I've ever seen in my entire lifetime. But I kid you not. This actually is completely reasonable justification. What? What is happening to my brain? Still insane? Yes, absolutely. Susan could be the genius in this situation. Dude, Tom and Susan, power couple? Careful. 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 Why not use Git? I don't... Why are you asking me? Okay, why are you asking me? I didn't make this. <laughs> And Susan just keeps checking out all the files. R let's see. Okay, yes. Reminding me, blah, blah, blah. Uh, this is precisely the reason why they are doing it. But with only three devs, it seems overkill. Oh. Wow. Wow. That guy called it. That guy called literally the reason. So it's a source control problem? Dude, I'm so confused. I feel like if this, I haven't used Tortois SVN in so long, but three devs, what kind of product are you working on that you're colliding that much? Second off, what year was this? This was 26 days ago. I get that if this was 20 years ago when I was using Tortois, but this ain't Tortois anymore. Can we move on? Can we just move on? Three devs, one get. <laughs> uh, you, let's see. Hold on. Uh, that shit was TFS uh, in my job. Let's see. In my job. I don't know. What does TFS stand for? Am I too? I'm not Reddit enough. I don't Reddit. I don't Reddit. Oh, my goodness. I think it may have been Visual S Source Safe's fault. Tom Foundation Server. Okay. It's Tom Foundation Server. Tom. Genius again. Clear genius, Tom. Come, showing his prowess. Showing his prowess, his heavy, heavy prowess. Right? Uh, let's see. Uh, TFS, old Microsoft source control. Dude, crazy. Crazy. I remember having a, to ask a TFS admin to unlock a file while someone was on vacation. job give me that job i want to go on vacation and lock the epic data hey i don't i don't trust any of you devs okay i'm locking the whole down while i'm on vacation <laughs> i vacation you vacation <laughs> that is so beautiful this is the most beautiful or i i cannot believe this can exist i cannot believe this can actually exist Let's see. A file per method is absolutely insane. These standards seem incredibly controlling to the extent that I wonder how micromanaged other things are. Yeah. Wait, you can just, you can have your title? 
Hey, Eric987235 here. Yeah, that's the only, let's see, that's the only one that really jumped out at me. Really, that's the only one? That's the only one? Like, that, this didn't jump out at you? This didn't jump out at you? This didn't jump out at you? Like, what do you mean? How is this not also crazy? Again, .NET, more like .NOT-AGEN.